What happens when your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man turns into a human Happy Meal craving zombie and his greatest foes become his next meal? I give up trying to be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Hello, Endless Void, I'm Shell, that's Bimmy, and welcome back to Comics Undone. In this twisted alternate universe, our beloved Spider-Man has fallen victim to a zombie virus. Despite his monstrous transformation, he's haunted by the guilt of making a Mega Manwich meal out of his Aunt May and wife Mary Jane, leaving him to never remove his mask. Fast forward to Marvel Zombies Returns, and we find our zombified hero Spider-Man on a quest. A quest for redemption and a cure. He seeks the Lifeline Tablet, an artifact that he believes could eradicate the zombie virus. Okay, now enter the Sinister Six, a team of Spider-Man's greatest foes, consisting of Dr. Octopus, Electro, Mysterio, Vulture, Kraven, and Sandman. Now they're here for revenge, but on the Spider-Man of this universe, they had no idea that zombie Spider-Man just doesn't f*** around. Language. The battle commences with Kraven, whose amplified scent entices the zombified Spider-Man. Despite his best efforts to control his hunger, Spider-Man attacks Kraven, biting into his neck in a savage display that leaves the Sinister Six in absolute shock. Mysterio attempts to confuse Spider-Man with illusions, but our hero's heightened senses see through the deception and literally breaks Mysterio's head apart. Electro and Dr. Octopus make a joint attack, but their plans backfire, leaving Electro drained and Dr. Octopus cooked alive for Spider-Man. Vulture tries to flee, but Spider-Man rips his wings and arms off from his body and then uses them to finish off Electro. Sandman freaks out and takes off. Spider-Man is then confronted by and makes quick work of Kingpin. So now Sandman ends up stumbling upon the normal Spider-Man from his universe, but thinks that he's the bloodthirsty monster he just saw. So he goes gloves off and forces his whole mass into Spider-Man's stomach and then... Now zombie Spider-Man is distracted, lost in his thoughts and his Whopper meal a la Kingpin. The villains he consumed earlier rise from the dead and decimate the local population, including Harry Osborn, Mary Jane Watson, and Gwen Stacy. Enraged, Spider-Man slaughters the undead villains and the other supporting characters traditionally associated with Peter Parker. We now see him succumb to his fate and embrace his role no longer as a hero or even as a human, but a monster through and through. Although still obviously battling with his guilty conscience, he then grotesquely accepts his new identity as a monster and rips his own face off, never wanting to remember who he used to be. And that's the haunted tale of Zombie Spider-Man vs. The Sinister Six. If you like this animated comic story, then check out this one here. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video with any zombie fans you know. Thank you for joining us while we share one of our favorite comic book moments. I'm Shell, that's Bimmy, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Gosh sake, watch your language. That's not going away anytime soon.